The Landmark Project is a three-year collaboration between Adventure Science and American Prairie Reserve. And we're out here with crews of six, 12 months a year, collecting a variety of wildlife data to support management decisions on the reserve. In the field, we're using Google Nexus 7 tablets to collect all the data so that the data is digitized from the second it's collected. Rather than having somebody with a notebook and paper writing down GPS coordinates and observation details, all of that's done right on the tablet to try to reduce error. And we'll have 72 volunteers over the course of this year. And uh, rather than trying to decipher 72 versions of handwriting, we're collecting that data digitally right in the field. We have projects that vary by season. So back in April, the crews were getting up at 3.30 in the morning to get in place by half an hour before sunrise so that they could count sage grouse on their lek grounds. And we'll be doing some prairie dog work during the summer here. We'll be mapping prairie dog colonies to document expansion or contraction of those colonies. We'll hike eight to 10 mile wildlife transects. And as they're hiking those transects, they collect wildlife observations. We're doing bison counts. Twice a week, we're going out and counting counting the entire bison herd on the Sun Prairie to get a ratio of adults to uh, newborn calves. So they're keeping their eyes out for those little red calves in the grass. On Landmark, I think one of the things that over time is really gonna be valuable is just this historical perspective because so much of American Prairie Reserve's work is not only protection and preserving, but also restoration. It's going to be really interesting to have this baseline data of here's what was here as this project was, was beginning, knowing that this is a project that's going to continue for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. We're establishing baseline data here, baseline temporal trends in wildlife use of this landscape that when you come back and look 40 years from now, you're going to be able to say, wow, look how few pronghorn there were. Look how few mule deer we had. Whereas 50 years from now, that count will be something different. And I think being able to show those trends over time is going to be really important. And I think that's a huge point of engagement for people who come to this project, too, that it really does establish this historical record in the data of what was here, and also points out the opportunity of what we can bring back.